planning a trip to the stars. Really? Well, it's just a school project to design a vacation in space, but we want to make it as scientifically correct as possible. We need to know the distances between our destinations and Earth. Where are you planning to go on your imaginary journey? The first place is the moon. Well, let's see, the moon is about 400,000 kilometers away. So if there was a road to the moon and you wanted your parents to drive you there, how long would it take? A couple of days, maybe a week or two. If you drive to the speed limit, which on the interstates is about 100 kilometers per hour, it would take 4,000 hours or more than 165 days. That's almost six months. And that's without taking any breaks or sleeping, not to mention the lack of gas stations along the way. So how did the astronauts do it? Well, it only took them about three days because they were traveling at thousands of kilometers per hour. What else might you want to visit? We were thinking about Mars. By car, it would take you 64 years when Mars is at its closest. That's a long time. I think I'd get bored. Mars is actually a very good choice. Why is that? Well, you wouldn't want to go to the other inner planets. Mercury, the planet closest to the sun, has a rocky cratered surface that is almost 430 degrees Celsius in the daytime. Ouch, that's really hot. Doesn't water boil at 100 degrees Celsius? Yes, and a very hot pizza oven is about 430 degrees. Because mercury doesn't have an atmosphere to retain heat, at night it can cool to about minus 173 degrees Celsius. Wow, I'm glad we're not going there. The next planet out from the sun is Venus. Its surface is covered with lava flows. Isn't it also completely covered with clouds? Yes, its mostly carbon dioxide atmosphere is very dense. On the surface, it's hot enough to melt lead. Isn't Jupiter the next planet after Mars? It is. Jupiter is over 11 times the diameter of the Earth. It's mostly made of hydrogen and helium. It doesn't even have a solid surface. Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are also larger than the Earth. And they are similar to Jupiter in that there is no way to walk on their surface. What's the nearest star to Earth? It's the Sun. Okay, Dr. D, what's the next nearest star? It's called Proxima Centauri, and it's 4.2 light years away. What's a light year? Let me explain. Catherine, how far do you live from your grandparents? About two hours. You just described the distance with the time, the time it takes to get there. Light travels at 300,000 kilometers per second, so it goes about 10 trillion kilometers in a year. That's what we call a light year. So if Proxima Centauri is 4.2 light years away, then it would take us 4.2 years to get there if we are traveling at the speed of light. Yes, but we haven't even come close to traveling at light speed, which is the ultimate speed limit. If you drove your car to Proxima Centauri, it would take over 45 million years. Even our fastest space probe would take over 60,000 years to get there. Wow, I had no idea space was so big.